So my son showed me the site to test how fast one could click on a mouse button. And as you can see here, at least for me, I could not get past 10 clicks per second. And even at more than 5 clicks per second, I couldn't sustain that speed for more than 10 seconds. So he was wondering if I have some tricks to make him a superhero in terms of clicking speed. I think his true intention was probably for some sort of, uh, some sort of games that he play. Now, of course we could do this in software, but it would be more fun to hack this using hardware tricks. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Okay, so now I can rest my fingers for a while. The victim of today's hack would be this Microsoft optical mouse, which I've been using for the past 10 years. Now before the hack, let me just uh, open up the, uh, the mouse to examine how we might go uh, about this. So okay, I figured out these um, mouse, actually, these mice use a, uh, the screw underneath this pad. So we have to uh, get the screw out this way. I suppose this is better than the sticker because you can always glue these feet back without destroying the, the stickers. But it's a kind of annoying. So I managed to pry it open, and uh, let's just, uh, um, actually I had to clean it quite a bit because it was uh, over the years a lot of dust uh, settled in this case. Um, let me, this one actually is held together by these screws I had to remove, so let's, uh, wow this is quite tight, let me remove that and uh, let's see what the mechanism for the button is. Well, we know what the mechanism for the button is. We just need to see. Um, yeah, we have to take this apart. Ugh, look at the uh, the crust underneath. I probably will have to give that a good clean as well. So let's uh, release this from. What is how how is it uh, captured here? Let's take a look here. Ah. So there are two clips here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. I should be able to just pull it up. Yes, here we go. Alright, so let me dump all the cookie crumbs away first, and uh, we'll see. So this is the inside of this Microsoft mouse, and uh, it is uh, slightly different than a lot of the other mice that I have opened. For example, here is another uh, optic mouse that I uh, disassembled, and this is probably the more typical one. Here you have a, a CCD or CMOS sensor in the middle, and it detects the reflected light, and thus it can tell uh, through processing, it tells where the mouse pointer is at. And of course you have the click buttons here. But nevertheless, the concept is the same. So here are the buttons. Uh, this is left, this is the, uh, the right, and here is your wheel button. So now the buttons, uh, if you look at, at the end, is just this contact. So typically how it works is either a pull up or pull down resistor that uh, uh, is attached to either of the contacts. So we can take a look at what type of uh, uh, configuration this is. So now let me just plug this into the uh, the computer and let's uh, take a look. So we will set this to, well not continuity, but we set this to volt measurement. So uh, let me just uh, prop this up a little bit so you can see. And uh, now, it's a little tangle here. So let's see um, the mouse button here. Um, 
let's just use this site for example. So right now you can see it is 2.4 volts and if I click on it, it drops to zero. So now this is actually a little bit interesting. Uh, usually this voltage would be uh, exactly how it is on this USB power, on this USB uh, supply, which is actually, yeah, which is uh, 4. Point, in this case it's a 4.8. Um, it's a little bit lower than the nominal 5.0, but uh, usually that is actually should be So the the pull out voltage usually is a uh, uh, four point. Usually it's the USB voltage as well. But in this case, it's just half the voltage. I'm not sure if that has any significance. But nevertheless, the idea here is that if we can uh, have a device that changes this uh, output to be high and low, then we can actually simulate the mouse click. So here's a simple circuit that I come in mind that can uh, simulate the mouse click. And as you can see, it's just a simple triple five timer, a stable oscillator configuration. And uh, I think how it's gonna work is if I put a switch uh, in its power supply path and uh, put output to the, uh, the button, the mouse button. So when, whenever this button is engaged, uh, the output would be pulling the uh, the button to high and low, high and low, uh, depending on the output voltage level. And this will work because the out pin, if you look at the circuit diagram for the internal uh, internals of this uh, triple five timer configuration, is actually a push-pull configuration. So when I am uh, disengaged, when the buttons are disengaged, the output is a high impedance. So it will not affect the normal mouse operation. So. Let's uh, put this uh, circuit on the tiny protoboard and uh, see if it works. I'll be right back. And here is the com completed circuit. And uh, here we go. So I used a small uh, protoboard to for the uh, the triple five timer circuit, and uh, I added this uh, momentary button so that. Uh, I can control the mouse click. Now the value I'm for the components I chose here, um, so as you can see, I have a 10K, 10K, a 50K. Actually this 50K, I ended up replacing that with a 50K uh, potentiometer so that I can fine tune the, the output uh, frequency. Now given this a 100 nanofarad capacitor, you know, we, we're roughly talking about uh, 20 to maybe 50 pulses per second. So that is, uh, uh, you know, plenty fast and we can kind of fine tune that in practice. So here you see, uh, that's the uh, exactly the circuit that I was uh, talking about. And he, here's our 50K potentiometer and uh, the rest of the circuit fits nicely on this small protoboard. So the idea is when I'm happy with the uh, the performance, I can actually try to fit it back into the case, which we'll, we'll take a look afterwards. So now let's uh, plug this in and see how it performs. Okay, now moment of truth. Let's uh, take a look at how this one behaves. Now I still have my uh, ordinary mouse hooked up here. So as you can see that I can click on it and uh, um, you know most of the computers you can hook up multiple mice so here I have this uh, mouse also hooked up uh, if we can give it a moment to focus I think it might be just too close yeah here we go so now uh, if I just press the regular button here as you can see uh, it still works okay still works so now let me click on this uh, button that we we just uh, uh, made this rapid firing uh, I want you to concentrate on the screen and as you can see right now we're approaching more than 20 clicks per second and if I just uh, hold that button the triple five timer would take over and uh, that's the rapid firing now let me adjust the uh, potentiometer to see how much we can vary the speed 
And for that I need a uh, well, screwdriver, but uh, let me just use my finger to see if we can adjust that. Uh, yes, as you can see that uh, we can make it slower and uh, whoops, sorry about that, I just, uh, yeah, so now we can click much slower. It's only 10 times per second and uh, we can adjust to be higher. Yes. And that's that works pretty well. So now let me I just need to put it back to the case and uh, that should conclude this project. So here's the mouse that I uh, finished the modification and uh, as you can see here I drilled a hole and put a button through here and uh, this kind of mouse typically has plenty of space for my uh, circuit board so I just stuck it right uh, there beneath the, uh, the the light pipe here so now I'm going to finish assembling this and uh, we will take a final look after I get everything together by the way so this kind of mouse uh, as I showed you earlier the output from um, the triple five timer goes to the button now depending on uh, the mouse design Sometimes the voltage here is used to determine whether the uh, mouse button was pressed or not. So sometimes that level is important. And uh, in my case, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I know for a matter of fact that some mouse, you need uh, to tweak the voltage here by adding a pull-up resistor or pull-down resistor. Uh, most likely it's a pull-up resistor. So to make sure that when the triple five timer is not in operation, um, this does not pull down voltage too much so that... Uh, uh, the mouse, the regular mouse button no longer works. And uh, just to make sure that uh, you are aware of that. Okay, so now let me put the mouse back and uh, we should be in business. Now we have the uh, mouse finally assembled with this extra button here for rapid firing and we just want to give it one last go to make sure that everything still works. So right now as you can see that, uh, where's the mouse? Okay, here we go. So the mouse remains uh, working in working condition and I have to just get a black piece of paper here. So, and the regular mouse button still works, right? If I click the left and right, the button most but it works and now let me let me if I press on the rapid firing as you can see that uh, uh, we are clocking in at uh, around 20 clicks per second that's plenty fast so I think my son will be very happy when I show him this anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed this hack of a using a simple triple uh, five timer for rapid mouse button firing if you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.